Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. We're continuing in John, the eighth chapter, as Jesus is having an extended conversation with a crowd of people in the temple. Hear now these words from John 8, verses 39 through 47. Abraham is our father, they answered. If you were Abraham's children, Jesus said, then you would do what Abraham did. As it is, you are looking for a way to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the work of your own father. We are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet, because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. I have to wonder if Jesus here is feeling a little bit of frustration and maybe even a little bit of exasperation and thinking, what must I do? Why can't you understand me? I'm being as clear and trying to give it to you as bluntly as I can and you choose to reject me. And these people are claiming Abraham as their father and yet Jesus says your real father is the devil. Now I wonder what do our actions, what do our attitudes reveal as to who our Father truly is? Are we guilty of doing the same things that these people were doing with Jesus where they are not willing to accept Him, not willing to believe in Him, and therefore are doing things to reject Him? We live in an environment where the rejection of Jesus is now easier than the recognition of Jesus. And even in the days when being a Christian was an acceptable thing and the common thing, I still don't know that people really understood who Jesus was and it's easy to claim a name without belonging to the one behind that name. Jesus is describing everything about our society back then in that first century Jewish society. We are caught up in believing lies. We are caught up in thinking things that simply aren't true because they don't fit with what we want to be true. So we're stuck in that same place unless we choose to believe what Jesus says about himself, what he says about his heavenly Father, and that becomes the defining belief and characteristic of who I am, of who you are. How are you going to do today? Will you claim Jesus? Will you let God be your Father? I'll see you tomorrow for another daily devotion.